on, I'm going to read you your bedtime story today. It's not quite bedtime yet, but I thought I'd show you just what the weather's like outside today at my house. Is it like that where you live? Yeah, it's really snowy today. I wonder if there's a snowman in your garden right now. I hope so. I'm going to read you a story that's from another very snowy place, a very icy place, a very cold place. It's one of our continents and it's from Antarctica. Now Antarctica is where you'll find the South Pole and it's a very, very cold place. Around the coast of Antarctica, the temperature can be about minus 10 degrees. It's quite a bit colder than it is here today, even though it's very cold here. But did you know that the coldest temperature ever recorded in Antarctica was minus 89 degrees Celsius? I don't think I've got enough clothes that I could put on that would keep me warm in those very cold temperatures. Now, this is one of my favourite stories. I've read it to my class every year that I've been a teacher. And it's just one that I really enjoy and my little boy enjoys. It's called Cuddly Dudley. And it's all about an animal that can live in those very cold temperatures. A penguin. Dudley is so lovely and cuddly that his brothers and sisters just won't leave him alone. I wonder what he'll do. Let's find out. Dudley loved to play. He loved to play jumping, diving and splashing. But most of all, Dudley loved to play all by himself. The trouble was, Dudley was such a lovely, cuddly penguin. And whenever his brothers and sisters found him on his own, they just couldn't resist having a huddle and a waddle and a cuddle with him. Go away, Dudley would say. Leave me alone. We can't, came the reply. You're just too cuddly. I'm fed up with all your huddling and waddling and cuddling, said Dudley one day. I'm going to find a place where I can live all on my own. And off he went. Oh. He waddled and he toddled for many, many miles until quite by chance he found... I wonder what he found. A little wooden house which looked perfect for a penguin. Hmm, it might look perfect for a penguin, but what can we see outside? Some skis. I wonder if somebody already lives in this house. And it seemed to be empty. It's gone inside. At last, said Dudley, a house of my own, a place where I can jump about all day without being disturbed. Just then, there came a rap tap tap at the little wooden door. It's us, said two of Dudley's sisters. We followed your waddle prints. Can we come in? No, you jolly well can't, said Dudley. I am very busy and I don't want to be disturbed. So please go away. And he shut the door. And he shut the door and was alone once more. At last, said Dudley, a house of my own. A place where I can splash about all day without being. Just then, there was a tap tap, tap at the little wooden door. It's us said his brothers and sisters. We followed your waddle prints. Can we come in and... No, you jolly well can't, said Dudley. I don't want to huddle and waddle and cuddle, so for the very last time, stop following me around. And he slammed the little wooden door and was alone once more. Oh, I don't 
Dudley was being very kind, was he? I wonder if anytime soon he'll start to miss his brothers and sisters. At last, sighed Dudley. A house of my own. Bang, 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 went the little wooden door. That does it, he said. When I catch those penguins, I'll... But it wasn't the penguins at the little wooden door. It was a great big man. My word, said the great big man. What an adorable penguin. Give us a cuddle, he cried. And he chased Dudley all around the house and out into the snow. Dudley's just such a cuddly penguin. Dudley ran and ran and escaped from the man. Then he decided.